The history of our perception of reality has always been intertwined with the way we observe our surroundings. For centuries, we believed that the world existed independently of us, that matter was stable, that events happened because they were meant to be. But each new step in our understanding of the universe has challenged these certainties, revealing that the very act of observing changes what is observed. And the deeper we delve into this mystery, the clearer it becomes that reality is not what it appears to be, and that consciousness is far more powerful than we are accustomed to thinking. Imagine living in a universe where every thought, every choice, and every attention directed towards something literally creates a measurable effect on the world. Not an abstract concept, not a philosophical theory, but a real, experiential, observable dynamic. This is the essence of what quantum physics has brought to light in recent decades, the realization that the way we perceive things determines the very behavior of particles, light, matter, and even time. The double-slit experiment was just the beginning of this revolution. When scientists discovered that electrons can behave both as particles and as waves, and that their shape depends on the observer, the scientific world had to reconsider everything it thought it knew. If consciousness influences the behavior of the smallest matter in the universe, then we are not passive spectators, but active participants, co-creators of reality. Many people believe these concepts are only about laboratories, formulas, and complex theories, but that's not the case. Every time you experience an intense emotion, every time you make a choice, every time you direct your attention in one direction rather than another, you are creating an observer. You are influencing the way your life unfolds. And the greatest paradox is that most human beings live unaware of this power, without understanding that their way of observing the world determines what the world gives back to them. It's as if we held the most advanced instrument in the universe in our hands and didn't realize it. Every spiritual, religious, and philosophical tradition throughout history has attempted to explain this principle with different words, faith, intention, will, prayer, visualization, awareness. But now, for the first time, science is beginning to demonstrate what these teachings had intuited, consciousness is an integral part of the workings of reality. And it's not just a matter of theoretical understanding, but of practice. Every time we choose how to react to something, we are changing our relationship with that event. Reality changes when we change the way we observe it. People think the universe has a single form, a single version of events, but what we call reality is only one possibility among infinite possibilities. We make it real through attention. When we look at something, we stabilize it. When we ignore something, it loses strength, loses structure, loses form. It's as if consciousness were a torch that illuminates only what we want to see, leaving everything else in the shadow of unmanifested possibilities. And here lies the most important step, what you observe observes you. What you choose manifests. What you believe takes shape. You are not separate from the universe, you are part of its workings. And the more you accept this truth, the more your life changes. Not because it becomes simpler, but because you become more aware of your power, your possibilities, your capacity to create. This is why some people manage to completely transform their lives while others remain stuck in the same patterns. It's not luck, it's not destiny, it's not chance. It's the way they observe reality. If you focus on fear, your brain stabilizes that frequency and projects it into your life. If you focus on possibilities, your mind opens new paths. If you focus on gratitude, the universe gives you back what you observe. It's not magic. It's quantum physics applied to consciousness. Every emotion we experience is a wave, every thought is a vibration, every memory is a quantum trace. And what we choose to perceive, what we choose to make real through our attention, becomes part of our world. We don't live in a universe made of fixed matter, we live in an ocean of possibilities. Matter is merely slowed down energy, form is merely stabilized vibration, reality is merely concentrated observation. When we understand this, we change everything. But the real leap occurs when we learn to apply it daily. Every morning, when we open our eyes, we choose what to observe. If you choose to see problems, your reality amplifies them. If you choose to see opportunities, your reality changes to align with your expectations. The mind is not a mere spectator, it is a projector. And what it projects becomes the film you call life. 
And this is where another great truth comes into play, it's not just what you think that creates your reality, but how you think it. It's the quality of your attention, the intensity of your emotion, the coherence between what you believe and what you want. When your desires and your beliefs conflict, your beliefs always win. You can't manifest a future you don't think you deserve. You can't create abundance if you're deeply convinced of scarcity. You can't attract love if you're certain you're unlovable. The universe doesn't respond to words, it responds to the dominant vibration of your consciousness. And this is precisely why negative emotions often have a more visible effect, because they are intense, strong, and immediate. But that doesn't mean they're more powerful, it just means we fuel them more easily. True strength comes when we learn to stabilize positive emotions, not as momentary peaks, but as a baseline state of our energy. When you live in a frequency of trust, gratitude, and presence, the universe responds with events that resonate with that frequency. Coincidences increase, opportunities multiply, your reality expands. And then you discover the most revolutionary thing of all, reality isn't stable. It never has been. It's a fluid field, in constant motion, shaped by the intentions of consciousness. People who manage to radically change their lives aren't privileged, they've simply learned to look at the world with different eyes. They've understood that every problem already contains the possibility of its solution, and that every obstacle holds the energy of transformation. When you start living like this, the world becomes a different place. You begin to perceive connections you previously ignored, signals you couldn't see, energies you couldn't recognize before. Not because they appeared out of nowhere, but because you learned to observe them. What you don't observe doesn't exist for you. What you observe becomes real. And here lies the most important step, what you observe observes you. What you choose manifests. What you believe takes shape. You are not separate from the universe, you are part of its workings. And the more you accept this truth, the more your life changes. Not because it becomes simpler, but because you become more aware of your power, your possibilities, your capacity to create. Remember that everything around you is movement, energy, vibration. Nothing is fixed. Nothing is immutable. You are not the victim of reality, you are its builder. And your perception is the architect. When you understand this, you no longer look at life the same way. And life, consequently, no longer looks at you the same way. And in the end, the most profound truth is that reality is not something fixed outside of you. It is a field of infinite possibilities responding moment by moment to the quality of your awareness. Every thought you choose, every emotion you allow, every intention you hold becomes a ripple in the fabric of the universe. You are not a passive observer of life, you are an active creator shaping the world through the lens of your consciousness. When you learn to shift your focus from fear to presence, from doubt to trust, from limitation to expansion, the universe reconfigures itself around your new frequency. What once seemed impossible becomes attainable, what once felt distant begins to approach you, and what once appeared chaotic reveals a deeper order. You are part of this cosmic dance, and the universe is always listening. All you need to do is become aware of your power, direct your attention with clarity, and allow life to unfold from a higher state of being. The more you remember who you truly are, the more reality begins to mirror that truth back to you. Your consciousness is the key, and the universe is ready to respond. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Quantum Frequency of the Mind, at Frequenza Element.